hi guys welcome to my channel in this video i will be covering what is greedy method in da subject guys i have uploaded complete da subject tutorials i will provide link in description you can watch from there let's get started when compared to all algorithm approaches this greedy method is very simple and straightforward method greedy method is a technique in which decision is taken on the basis of current available information without worrying about the effect of current decision in future meaning of this is greedy method will take decision based on the current available information based on the current available information this greedy method will take decision it do not worry about the future i will give an example so that you can clearly understand this meaning this is example there are two nodes node a and node e i want to travel from source to destination source is nothing but where i am at present and destination is nothing but where I need to reach. I want to travel from source to destination in shortest distance. This is condition. There are three ways in which we can travel from source to destination. There are three routes that is from A to B and A to C and A to D. There are three ways in which we can travel from source to destination. From A to B distance is 3 kilometers for example. From A to C distance is 5 kilometers and from A to D distance is 7 kilometers and from node B to E distance is 1 kilometer and from C to E distance is 2 kilometers and from D to E distance is 3 kilometers. This is example. Condition is travel from source to destination. We need to reach from source to destination in shortest distance. In shortest distance. This is condition. In greedy method, decision is taken based on the current available information. That is current available information is this from A to B, from A to C and from A to D. This is current available information. This is current available information. Whereas this one is future information. Among the current available information, among the current available information, we need to pick best result. That is which is shortest distance among this from A to B distance is 3 kilometers and from A to C distance is 5 kilometers and from A to D distance is 7 kilometers. Among this 3 kilometers is very small distance. So I am picking this from A to D. I am choosing this route that is from A to B. Among the current available information 3 kilometers is best. So I choose in 3 kilometers that is from source A to B. After A to B I need to travel b to e in order to reach our destination from b to e distance is 1 kilometer total 3 plus 1 that is 4 kilometers it took 4 kilometers to reach from source to destination greedy method is a technique in which decision is taken on the basis of current available information as i already said we took best result based on the current available information without worrying about the effect of current decision in future so whatever the current decision we took it will affect future decision. For example, I took 3 kilometers. This is current decision. It will also affect our future future decision that is from B to E. So there is no guarantee that there will be best result. So there is no guarantee to get best result because we took decision based on the current available information. For example, from B to E distance is 12 kilometers. Then it will become worst result because we saw only current information. Future information may be worst. So result is not always best in greedy method. These are the examples in greedy method. There are two examples. In example one, I need to travel from source to destination that is from node A to node C. In greedy method, we will take decision based on the current available information that is from node A to B distance is 4 kilometers. From A to C distance is 7 kilometers and from node A to D distance is only 3 kilometers. So I will choose this distance that is from A to D because it took only 3 kilometers to travel from A to D. So I chosen this route. After this, I need to travel from D to C. Distance is 1 kilometer. Total 3 plus 1 that is 4 kilometers. It took 4 kilometers to travel from source to destination. If you consider this route, from A to B it will take 4 kilometers and from B to C it will take 1 kilometer. Total 4, 4 plus 1 that is 5 kilometers. And from A to C it took 7 kilometers among these three 4 kilometers is best so in greedy method we will take decision we will choose best result on the current available information but future information may or may not be best so decision is not always best if you consider another example from a to b it will take 4 kilometers and from a to c it will take 10 kilometers and from a to d it will take 3 kilometers so i choose an best result from this current available information. So I chosen from A to D because it took only 3 kilometers. 
but from D to C it took 5 kilometers. Total it took 8 kilometers. 5 plus 3 that is 8 kilometers. But if I choose this route that is from A to B 4 kilometers and whereas from B to C it took only 1 kilometer. That is 4 plus 1, 5 kilometers. Among these two, this is best route. So decision is not always best in greedy method because we will take decision on the basis of current available information and future information may or may not be best. Greedy method is used for solving optimization problem. Optimization problem in problem which require minimum or maximum result. For example, in before example, we need to find shortest distance that is minimum result. So in order to solve optimization problem, we use greedy method. In greedy method, you need to understand two terms. They are what is feasible solution and what is optimal solution. Let us consider one problem. There is problem that is this is optimization problem. That is I need to travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore. In how many ways we can travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore? That is by walk. This is solution one. By walk we can travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore and by using bike we can travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore. This is solution two by using bike. And solution 3 is by using car we can travel and by using train we can travel. This is solution 4. And by using flight we can travel. By using train and by using flight. This is solution 5. These are 5 ways we can travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore. But condition is, condition is I need to reach to Bangalore from Hyderabad within 3 hours. Within 3 hours I need to reach Bangalore. In that condition if I go by walk I cannot reach and if I go by bus I cannot reach and if I go by car I can't reach. So if I go train I can reach and if I go by flight I can reach. So these two solutions are satisfying my condition that is by using train or by using flight I need to travel. So solution which satisfies our given condition. Solution which satisfy our given condition is known as feasible solution. Feasible solution. I hope you understand what is feasible solution. Solution which satisfies our given condition is known as feasible solution. Here solution 4 and solution 5 are satisfying our condition. That is by using train and by using flight we can reach to Bangalore within 3 hours. But there is another condition that is I need to reach from Hyderabad to Bangalore with minimum cost. With minimum cost. This is another condition. Among train and flight which will take minimum cost that is train. Train is less cost when compared to flight. So among all these solution we choose in train. This is known as optimal solution. Solution 4 is optimal solution. Optimal solution means solution which is feasible and gives best result is known as optimal solution. This train is feasible solution. Train and flight both are feasible solution. So solution which is feasible and which gives best result. Among these two train is less cost when compared to flight. So solution which is feasible and gives best result is known as optimal solution. Now I will write general method. This is algorithm for greedy method that is greedy of a comma n where a is array and n is size of array for example in an array there are five elements that is a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 total there are five elements in an array so size of array is 5 n equal to 5 where a is array and n is number of elements in an array for i equal to 1 to n do meaning of this is in an array we can include n number of elements so i written this for i equal to 1 to n do x equal to select select a we need to select each and every element in an array if feasible if any of this value is feasible then we need to include this in our solution feasible x then solution equal to solution plus x. I am closing this, closes and closes. Once again I will explain this algorithm. Greedy algorithm contains array, a where a is array and n is size of array. For i equal to 1 to n do because we can include n number of elements in an array. x is nothing but we need to select each and every element in an array. And if we found any feasible solution in before example train and flight both are feasible solutions so if we found any feasible solution then we need to include this in our solution this is meaning of this general method characteristics of greedy method to construct solution in optimal way this algorithm creates two sets where one set contains all chosen items and whereas another set contains all rejected items that is in order to get best solution this greedy algorithm creates two sets. 
one set contains chosen items and whereas another set contains re rejected items. A greedy algorithm makes good local choice. Good local choice is nothing but decision is taken based on present available information. So a greedy algorithm makes good local choice in the hope that solution should be either feasible or optimal. Whatever the local choice that we have taken, that local choice will lead to feasible solution or optimal solution. For the applications of greedy method, first application is greedy method is used in finding shortest path. In order to find shortest path, we use greedy method. And next application is it is used to find minimum spanning tree. And third application is it is used in job sequence with deadline problems. And it is also used to solve fractional snaps of problem. These are the applications of greedy method. Next components of greedy algorithm. Total there are five components in greedy method. First one is candidate set. A solution is created from this candidate set. Next is selection function. By using selection function, we can select the best candidate. Whatever the best candidate that we have chosen by using this selection function, this candidate is included to our solution. And third one is feasibility function. This feasibility function is used to determine whether candidate is suitable for our solution or not. And fourth one is objective function. Objective function is used to assign values to our solution. And at last fifth one is solution function. This solution function indicates whether complete solution has been reached or not. These are the five components of greedy algorithm.